Mixed fractions to improper fractions. Parts of a mixed number. Three will be the whole number. The one is going to be the number of parts. And the denominator, the three, is going to be the number of parts to make a whole number. It's important to note that when the parts is equal to the parts to make a whole number, then instead of the fraction 3 over 3, we could change it to the whole number 1. So here are the steps to go from a mixed fraction to an improper fraction. Step 1. Multiply the whole number by the denominator. So the whole number is 3, and the denominator is 3, and 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Step 2. Add the product to the numerator. 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. And step 3 is to put that number over the original denominator. So 3 and 1 third as an improper fraction would be 10 over 3. So why does this work? The denominator is the parts to make a whole number. So it takes 3 parts to make a whole number. So in our whole number, which is 3, that would be 3 separate groups of 3 parts, or 9 parts total. We also have one extra part in our numerator. So the 9 parts from the whole number and the 1 part in our numerator would make 10 total parts. And that 10 parts will be over 3, because it takes 3 parts to make a whole number. So let's do one more. We want to convert 4 and 3 fifths to an improper fraction. So the first step is to multiply the whole number by the denominator. 4 times 5 equals 20. The second step is to add the product to the numerator. 20 plus 3 is equal to 23. And the final step is to put that number over the original denominator. 23 over 5 would be the improper fraction from the mixed fraction 4 and 3 fifths. Do you want to practice this new skill? Well then click the link in the description. It will take you to an application I created that gives you infinite problems so you can practice converting from mixed numbers to improper fractions. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe.